Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, whether they like it or not, students in the Cal State University system and its board of trustees are learning a lesson in real life budgeting. With us now to discuss this is Lou Monville. He is a member of the California uh, State University Board of Trustees. Thanks for being here. You bet. Thanks for having uh, me. California state budget uh, impacting all of us sure. in, in our lives one way or another, but uh, on your level at the state university system, what are you saying? Well, you know, it's, it's a difficult situation, obviously, the state faces. We're in an environment uh, where, the, where the state's de dealing with very difficult problems. I don't envy the, the governor or the legislature with the problems that they have to tackle. Um, you know, revenues are down. Uh, need for services are, are up. Um, you know, and in, the, in a California State University, we're kind of, you know, we're one of the leading economic engines uh, for the state. Uh, and to have to face cuts recognizing um, what that does to the students, what that does to the long-term economic picture of the state, uh, it's, it's obviously tough times for all of us. Originally, uh, the, you were being warned that you were going to have to cut your budget by $500 million. Now it looks like it might be doubled to a billion dollars. How do you compensate for that, seeing that this budget is for the fall session coming up just months away? It, it is a very difficult task uh, that we face. Uh, fortunately, we've got a great team. Uh, our administration and our presidents are working very, very hard. You know, we had a plan in place. Uh, it was going to be difficult. We're looking at ways to, you know, maintain enrollment levels, spaces for students, maintain classes and instruction and the quality therein, and cut administration and overhead to try and, and balance that. And, and we have a plan. Uh, for that first $500 million. That second $500 million is a daunting challenge. We'll be talking about that at our July board meeting. Um, to give you some idea, I could raise student fees 32%, about $1,600 a student, and that only gets me to $400 million. Um, if we furloughed every employee for two months, no pay, that gets us to $500 million. Well, I can't run a university that way. It's not the right thing to do for our staff. It's not the right thing to do for our students. So we're going to have to look at some, some you know, probably a broad base of, of options and, and choices um, to make uh, some probably very difficult decisions uh, depending on what happens in Sacramento. Well, what are your options, though? Well, I think uh, ultimately as state support decreases, the reliance on student tuition is going to increase. I mean, I think that's just a fundamental reality that we face um, because the option of reducing access to students and offering less classes, taking a longer time to degree, that's not an acceptable option. So unfortunately, I think that'll be a place that we'll have to go. We'll have to go to substantial uh, fee increases to make sure we continue to provide the quality education that we've pr promised students and we've promised taxpayers of California. Um, I think secondarily, uh, we need to look at new ways uh, to, to offer instruction. Uh, whether it be better uses of technology, uh, whether it be better uses of facility, going to more year-round schedules, more uh, maximizing the utilization of our facilities. So, I, you know, I think we're a pretty creative bunch. I mean, I think that's the, that's the advantage we have uh, in the State University. We're nimble. We've got, uh, you know, great uh, employees and a great team who are committed to the mission of serving students. And, you know, we'll continue to collaborate to find solutions. We'll get it done. We've been doing it for years now in, in, in an environment of declining in, uh, revenue. So we'll get there. The Cal State University system has been the backbone for so many students coming out of high school. What is your word to them as they look forward to a college education in hopes of going to the CSU system? Well, I, 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 would, I would send several messages. I mean, particularly for those of us who live in the Inland Empire, where we're in an area where we're the largest metropolitan area of the state, Riverside and San Bernardino counties, with the lowest college going rate. The first thing I would say is that promise, California's promise to you to, to provide you and give you the access to a higher education is still there and you've got to take advantage of it. Stay focused in high school, get your A through G requirements, apply. Second off, I think it's always important to remind students that we have a, a very robust financial aid program and we can help them cover the gap to be able to be successful. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you, you for tuning in. More HLN next.